Three weeks later, Lewis Street in Canton just isn't the same. Now forever a reminder of November 8th. A night when Stacy Nicholas and Joe Quelo were hundreds of miles away in Texas. I got a call from the uh, fire chief and he said, we're losing the block next to the playhouse and we're probably gonna lose the playhouse. She started crying and stuff and so uh, it, was, it was really upsetting and I was just trying to keep Stacy calm. I was really upset. I still kind of get a little upset thinking about it. We're just trying to manage our emotions from a distance. The husband and wife are both volunteer firefighters. They knew the outlook wasn't promising. And I just remember asking him to make sure all of the firefighters are safe and if the building went, the building would go. And then midnight, Stacy receives another call from the fire chief. He said, I was able to save your building. The Lewis Street Playhouse was spared, but Stacy and Joe wouldn't return home for another 10 days. To know that you have to wait and just see where the ashes fall, um, it can be really challenging. They couldn't see the extent of the damage, but to know how much history could have gone up in flames, the pair was beyond relieved. The Playhouse opened in the late 1800s as an opera house. A few decades later, burlesque took center stage. But in 1981, the building was turned into a storage facility. Almost two decades later, it was revived to its current state. It's a focal point. It's a highlight. It really adds to the town uh, in terms of its character. Even today, the Playhouse is an important part of the community spirit that makes up Canton. But a walk through the building will show the theater has brought plenty from the past decades into today. Today, the Playhouse is a not-for-profit entertainment hub. Kids can enjoy second-run movies for a dollar. Businesses and organizations can rent the space for banquets. Comics can try out their routine, all within the same walls that have called Lewis Street home for over a century. When we put down the screen and we're showing a Disney movie, to remember that, you know, a little over 100 years ago, that same stage was doing burlesque. Where are you going to get that? You know, nowhere else has that. Stacy and Joe returned home 10 days later, and thanks to a cast of volunteers who care just as much, the Playhouse was open for business. People would call me and say, are you guys open tonight? And I was in Texas, but I'd say, oh yeah, we're open. And I called the student we had working, he was like, yeah, we're open, we're going. And I think it surprised a lot of people. There will always be the startling thought of what might have been lost. That's why when the Canton Fire Department holds its year-end banquet here in just a few weeks, Stacy and Joe will be happy to host them, free of charge. And I was I was ecstatic. Those firemen, those firefighters, they did everything they could and this building was saved and it was really a community icon was saved because of them.